Ooh, we're skipping ahead. September 11th. Morning. Ooh, I wonder if we'll play on my birthday. Because <laughs> we played on your birthday. I wonder if we'll play on my birthday in September. Is everything okay, Karen? <sighs> Everyone in school is calling me a German bastard. I want them to at least call me by my name. When will you let me know who my parents are? You'll know when I find out. I wish I could just show them my parents. Then they would stop calling me names. The local vicar may have some helpful information. Uh, if you insist. But first... Cheese bread. And then we will cook... Soup. School is hard. People there aren't nice. And Miss Hansen doesn't care if the kids are mean. Of course she doesn't. She made you do a Nazi salute. No one picks on me in Mr. Berg's class, though. Make sure to keep being... Ah, you'll do fine. But I don't know how to do that. Mr. Berg says we'll have our first test on Tuesday. He says it's very important that we do well. Can you help me study when you get back? What if they make me do overtime? I'll say that I will. Nice. It might even be fun. Time to go then. Oh, she's got a little school blazer. Makes sense. I mean, it is like autumn now, so she's probably... Doesn't it get very, very, very cold in Norway? Oh, I've got lots of money, so let's buy some stuff. I'll buy the comb. See what the comb does. Uh, we'll buy that. Uh, some more soup. And some porridge. That is all of my money. Hey, how was your day? Mr. Berg says it's important that we do well on the test. Can you help me study? Absolutely. It'll be fun. We're learning about animals. Here's the first question. Which one of the following is a mammal? A, a duck. No, that's a bird. B, a salmon. No, that's a fish. C, a bear. That is a bear. I had a feeling it was a bear. Which one is not a mammal? A, a gerbil. That's a mammal. B, a swan. That's a bird. C, a moose. Oh my god, a moose. <laughs> First trolls and now moose. We're being very stereotypically Norwegian, aren't we? Right, swan. I knew it too. You're good at this. All right, last one. Which of the following mammals can be found in Norway? Oh my god. <laughs> A. Kangaroo. Highly doubt it. Unless they're in a zoo. And did they really have that many zoos in 1951? At least not with like really exotic animals. Uh, but they might have done. They might have done. Uh, we had bloody elephants and all sorts of things in this country in the Victorian era. So it's quite possible. B. A musk ox. I'm assuming it's that. C. A mountain lion. Aren't they associated with North America mountain lions? We're going to go with musk ox. That's right. They're in place I can't pronounce. They are in Doverfjell. Do you actually pronounce a J in words like that? Isn't it just Dov Doverfjell? Fjell. Fjell. I think it's probably very wrong. Sounds like a place there would be trolls. You're a troll. I like animals. Thank you for helping me. Ah, oh, she trusts me more. Right, let's wash before food. It hasn't really done much, but you can have a proper bath once we've eaten. 
Uh, let's have some of this. Now, get your dirty self in the bath. Can I go to sleep? You can. And I have to write a letter to the vicar, don't I? Studying is hard. I hope I do well. I'm sure you'll do great. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe tomorrow, because I have to write a letter. This is a newspaper. I thought I was writing a letter. Ah, I was clearly looking for the address. Vicar Peder Christiansen Bagstrand. Is that a real place? I'm going to look that up. As you know, I took Karen into my care three years ago. However, it has now become important to learn the identity of her father. Could you please help us find more information about her background from the sources available? Uh, do I have anything new in any of these things? I do not. Do I have anything left to craft? I do not. I'm so tired. I had a bad dream. What did you dream about? I had a nightmare about school. I'm hungry. Can we eat breakfast? Eat your porridge. You can have two porridge because it doesn't really fill you up very much, does it? Uh, and let's cook this massive fish. Put it to the side. So it's got like whiskers. Is it a catfish? I really am not all that familiar with fish. Aren't catfish like grey and that's brown? Anyway, big fish, carrots, potatoes. That looks good. That actually looks really nice. Could you maybe walk me to school today? Yes, I can. Really? Great! Thank you for walking with me. Have a nice day, little one. Thank you for making sure I'd be okay. Bye-bye. Work. Why is there a big rip in your dress? <laughs> I'll be in my room. I have to study for my test. Would you like any help? Not today. I'll manage. Let me know when it's time for dinner. Uh, let's cook some stuff. I really hope I'm reheating all this soup. <laughs> Logically, where am I keeping it? Have I got a fridge? Is it time for food? Yes, come and eat. You can have this that I cooked earlier. That looks really nice. Nom 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 nom. Yum, we should have this food more often. So you like it then? I want my bed. Alright, we're going to wash your face. Ooh, drawing. Oh, I don't like it when she draws sad things. Did the picture of Omi end up in the photo album then? It didn't, did it? That's odd. Though she said she was keeping it, didn't she? So she obviously didn't give it to me. Maybe it's on a wall. She's got drawings on the wall, is not she? Uh, you need another dress. Uh, we're going to put this one on because I like this one the best. Nice checkered one. Yeah, that's pretty. I like that. You receive new crafted materials, oh, so I'm going to have to fix the one that's ripped, am I? <gasps> what are you like? Ripping your clothes. Get into bed. You've been very quiet today. Sorry. I've been busy with homework. Is everything else okay? Not really. It's It's the kids at school. They're so mean. One of them kicked me in the leg today. Bastard. Oh no, are you hurt? My leg is fine, but I wish they'd stop. I should say she should tell someone, but who's she gonna tell? 
the, ki the teacher that made her do a Nazi salute. Tell who? The teachers don't care. Did you see that face she pulled then? It was like a really sarcastic one eyebrow raise. The facial animations are great. Simple, but very effective. <sighs> oh, hard and a heart, damn. My bad. Ooh, journal. I do understand why your mother might be too scared to talk. Young women with children by German soldiers have a difficult time. Haven't we already established that in everything else we've just bloody said? That you're just repeating yourself there, really. 13th of September. You are starving. You're in the red. Morning. The third option is always so arsy. You don't even say good morning to her. I'm not... Should I say excited? Because she likes to learn. And she said she loved learning about animals. Good morning, little one. Excited about the test. I'm not so sure. Would you help me look at it again? Yes, I will. There's just one question I don't really get. What is it? Foxes. Does this come up because there was a fox in the wood? Or was the fox being in the wood completely random? Was it scripted? Was it random? Is this question always about foxes? Are they herbivore, carnivore, or omnivore? They are omnivore because they will eat anything. Like garlic bread. <laughs> yes, I'm going to keep bringing this up. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm referring to, Google fox garlic bread. Uh, UK. I don't know what part of the UK it was. But it was literally in the newspaper that some man had been to a takeaway and bought some garlic bread. And he was waiting at a bus stop or something. And he got mugged by a fox. And he basically threw the fox in garlic bread and ran away. Oh, I know another story about a fox, actually. Shelley was at a bus stop. And this was when Shelley worked as a chef. Sorry for this tangent. I'll get back on with the game in a second. Uh, Shelley worked as a chef. Shelley's my fiancé, if you're new here. Uh, and they had chef knives in their bag so presumably they still smell of meat or whatever and a fox came up and started sniffing their bag they mostly eat rats berries and lots of stuff so omnivore <laughs> yuck foxes are a little more gross than they look thank you for helping me anytime Porridge for the child. The fact that she's always in yellow, can we not bring it up to blue? And I don't want to eat all my food. That's the problem. I'm... Such is the uh, hardships of rationing, isn't it? Let's make some more of this. And let's send you to school. Did we wash your face? I did really well on my test. Mr. Bird gave me a B plus. That's great news. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I like this feeling. I'll try to keep doing well. You are a clever little bean. Ah, oh, there she is with her B plus. Oh, I like that. Oh, it even says Karen. I really like these artworks. Be nice if they were in colour, but then uh, you didn't really have colour photography in the 1950s, did you? Uh, right. Feed you. Feed the child. What have we got? I don't want to keep feeding you the same stuff, because you might get bored. Have some mushrooms. That went up quite a lot. Do you reckon it goes up faster with, like, varied food? Or certain foods are worth a set amount. Presumably porridge is worth the least. Like, the more expensive it is, the more it would be worth. I mean, that makes logical sense, doesn't it? Uh, right, we need to fix this dress. Keep calling it a dress. It's clearly not a dress. It is a blouse and skirt combo. <gasps> we can tickle her again. Yeah, 
you are going to get so tickled. Tickle, 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 tickle. Tickle under the armpits. Tickle on the belly. Tickle behind the ears. Tickle on the chin. You know, school can be okay sometimes. I really like to learn about numbers and animals and stuff. Uh, you should do what you enjoy even if unkind people say otherwise. That is true of all aspects of life. Mm? I feel bad that I'm not reading her stories all that often. I swear, if I have a free time unit or her care meter's really low, I will. But, um... You know, time management. We're learning about fishes today. Mr. Burke said I was a good student. Mr. Burke says you have a dirty face. Dirty, dirty, dirty face. What's the dirt? Ah, it's if it's red, I think it's red when it's a weekend, so it's clearly not a weekend. It is a weekday. Uh, porridge. Do I have anything else to cook? I do not. You've got time to do stuff. Hey, let's play. Huh, okay. So we can draw, we can play hide and seek. Let's play hide and seek. Wow! I'll go hide. Is she in this cupboard? <laughs> There's your fingers poking out. There you are. Aw, oh, you found me. I should go now. Have a good day. I'll try. I wonder if she always hides in the same place. Oh, what happened? I... I was just playing in the mud. I don't believe you. Because you look very sad. Unless you're guilty about playing, feeling guilty about playing in the mud. I'm sorry. Are you sure nothing happened? The other kids, they flocked around me. Some of them started hitting me. But I didn't do anything wrong. Bullies don't always need a reason. Why can't they just leave me alone? Try to keep away from them. I'll try. I want a bath. Ah, oh, yes, you do want a bath. Oh, she's got like little scrapes on her face. Oh, and you put plasters on her face. Stick. Stick. Why won't that stick? Stick. Damn it. What is a Nazi kid? Who did say that? Um, I will explain what it is. Nazism is difficult to explain. Some people think it's a system or an idea. A system or idea that thinks certain people are worth less than others. That is Nazism in its most basic sense, but she is seven. And she now trusts me more. Nice. But you are in no way a Nazi, Karen. You are a very kind you are very kind and loving to everyone. So don't listen to the bullies. Do you think my dad did evil soldier stuff? <sighs> She's already upset, so I'm I'm not gonna say he did. 
your dad was a hero, I'm sure of it. Really? You think so? Phew, that's good. Mmm, the water's getting cold now. Need to change that dress, but I think we should feed you first. Have something... No. No, you can have that for breakfast tomorrow. Have some soup. Yes, she's in the blue. Thank you for my food. I couldn't eat another bite. I'm going to read you a story. We'll change your clothes in the morning. So, do people hate me because of my dad? I think so. They're angry and scared by what the Nazis did in Norway. But that wasn't me! I'm a good girl! Why are they mad at me for something I didn't do? They may understand in time and regret their actions. Speaking of someone from the 21st century, uh, I think a lot of views have changed. I mean, I can, I can speak for the Germans themselves. They, they teach, from what I know, they teach the history of the wars and stuff, but they're very strict about like, in video games, you can't show any Nazi symbolism. I know this game was one of the very first, as of late, that was allowed to show a swastika. There was a swastika in the opening cutscene. Um, they don't allow it for, like, they don't, like, glorify it. In games like South Park, Stick a Truth with the Nazi zombies and Wolfenstein and all that, they don't, like, allow it for the sake of it. But for historical reasons, they clearly do. I don't know where I'm going with this. They might understand in time and regret their actions. I hope so. Yes, I do want to read you a story. It's a story about cavemen. Oh, she's so cute in sleep. Can I pat your head? I don't think this place we live in is better or worse than any other small town. It depends on the people. I lost my last job because they questioned my loyalty as a Norwegian for taking care of you. But the people at the new job don't seem to think like that. It's luck, I guess. Some people are nice, some not. Is your father a Nazi? We can only guess. One third of German officers are said to have been Nazi party members. but. Many of the regular soldiers were just boys forced to fight for the Nazis at the age of 18. Didn't I say that? If they refused, they would probably be executed. Still, German soldiers in Norway mostly thought they were lucky. Almost a third of the Wehrmacht soldiers were killed during World War II, while only 3% of the soldiers in Norway lost their lives. That's quite low. Oh, we skipped my birthday. Why have we gone straight to the 30th of September? That's a bit random. Hello, I'm awake. I want to play with Liv today. Let's get you ready first. Uh, have some berry toast. And we're not done yet, Karen. You don't want Liv to see you in a ratty dress, do you? Let's put this one on. Oops, sorry, I just hit the microphone. I don't like that dress as much. <laughs> Whatever. How about now? All done. Have fun. Liver and I are going to play in the forest. Bye! Can I go to the forest? Can I go to the forest and spy on you? <laughs> They're not here. Uh, ooh, pinecorn. Take that. Are they at the lake? What is that? I'll have it, whatever it is. <laughs> Why are you crying, Karen? Liv won't talk to me anymore. She says she doesn't want to be friends with a troll. I'm sure she didn't mean it. 
She was being really mean. She's probably scared of something or someone. What do you mean? I'm not scary. I'm... I'm not a troll. She's not scared of you. The other kids think you're different, but that doesn't make you a troll. Liv is probably scared that they'll turn on her as well, so she tries to do what they do to be accepted, including being mean to you. You need to give them some time and let them realize what a wonderful girl you are. I want to be alone. I've got no food to cook. Oh, you're drawing, are you? She looks so upset. Right, while you're drawing, I'll read whatever this newspaper says. In the news, our system with two different adoption options <laughs> adoption options <laughs> might be chosen for our neighbouring countries. We allow both weak and strong adoptions what? Where contact with parents and inheritance rights are either kept with the biological parents or transferred. I'm sorry for being mad at you. Oh, she scribbled over the picture. That's the first picture she ever drew. I think. Yeah, it's the first picture she drew. Have some soup. And let's wash your grimy face. I'm going to repair this swing, and then we can play on it. A swing! We'll hang it in the forest! Damn right we will. We'll play on it tomorrow, because it's Sunday. Liv was so mean. Can you read me a nice story? I'm afraid not, dear. Ooh, journal, journal, journal. World War II was the deadliest war ever recorded, killing over 60 million people. A mere fraction of that figure, but still very sad. 10,000 Norwegians died, but many were civilians. The occupation was hard. We had little food. Some chose to work for the Germans, but many Norwegians suffered, standing up to the occupiers and the Nazi ideology. It cost people their jobs and sometimes their lives. It is no wonder that the hatred that grew for those who were seen to choose material comforts over the fight for freedom and loyalty to their family, friends and nations. Fair enough. That makes perfect sense. <coughs> I'm up. The mail is here. I need to buy some food, don't I? Let's play with the ball. I wish I didn't have to go. I'm afraid you do. Ooh. Wool to knit a scarf. Welcome home. I have
have no friends. Maybe we could play a bit? Yeah, let's go play on the swing. Move the swing to push it. Swinging costs one time unit, no matter how long you push it for. Do I swipe? Or click? I'm sort of swiping, uh. Swing! Swing! Oh, this is cute. I like this. I hope it's raising a, like, fun meter. Or happiness meter, or whatever it is. Have you had enough swing in? It's getting late. We should head back home. We had a lot of fun. Kind of. <laughs> You're not happy with it. Right, let's give you a bath. Before you get a bit too grimy. And we shall end that episode here. Join me next time. If you are enjoying this Let's Play. Because I really am. And I can't wait to start recording more. I'm going to record the next part right now. <laughs>